boys. What's up guys, welcome to the video. We are finally back with the BRZ and working on cars. I haven't worked on a car in so long, but we're in finishing stages of the car. I mean, mechanically, the entire turbo kit is installed and you guys saw that in the last BRZ episode. But today, we're finishing up this blow-off valve situation here. So I figured it'd be pretty cool to show you guys this process because there are two different ways that you can have this turbo kit set up. The first way, which the previous owner had, was with a Gretty blow-off valve right here. Now, for me personally, I've talked to multiple people, talked to the Gretty guys. I'm actually not gonna run blow-off valve. I'm gonna go off the compressor surge. And today, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that. And in my personal opinion how to get the absolute best brz turbo noise you can possibly get to start us out here to give you guys a comparison i'm gonna go ahead and show you what it sounds like with the blow-off valve and then go through the process of removing the blow-off valve plating it up so that it's closed and then going off the compressor surge from the turbo went ahead and buttoned up all of the blow-off valve lines and everything like that this thing is ready to go now it's not tuned i can't get on it too hard but i am going to do a little baby pull and some revs so you guys can hear blow-off valve versus compressor surge let's go ahead and turn the car and we'll let this thing warm up just a little bit before we go and drive. the blow-off sound without any load. We're gonna go ahead and do a little pass on the road to see what it sounds like when you're actually driving because there will be a difference between just revving it versus driving on the road. All right. All right, John, you ready for some good noises here? Yeah. All right. I'd say the car's not tuned, so I don't want to rev it too high, so I'm gonna go around like 4,000. Yeah, 4, just to play it safe. We don't want to right. detonate yeah, anything. anything. a tuner but i mean i've been doing cars for a while so i would say it's probably because the turbo's so small there's not much psi really being pushed in i'm sure there's a difference in air uh how much cfm is going into the throttle body but i don't think it's significant enough to throw the car off another thing too is the turbo kit came with a different map sensor and we didn't change it so i'm pretty sure once we change it then throw everything off that makes sense Well, I honestly did not expect <laughs> the blow-off valve and turbo surge setup to sound that good. But just to be 100% sure, because I'm trying to figure out which which way I want to go, this kit really doesn't push enough boost to make it matter either way. So I'm trying I'm trying to decide whether I run, want to run the blow-off valve or if I just want to go straight turbo surge. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is disconnect the blow-off valve. Once the blow-off valve is disconnected, the spring is not going to open and it's going to be all surge. So I want to see what that sounds like and then make a decision from there whether or not I'm going to block off the blow valve hole or just go ahead and leave it. Keep in mind this is just temporary until we actually go ahead and install the boost controller, the map sensor, and actually get a tune. The tuner that I'm going to use to make to get a base tune on this car is currently in Belize doing some tuning out there and he gets back next week which is when we're going to get this done. So for now we've kind of did a little makeshift line job here. So just put this bar fitting right here temporary for now once he decides which way he wants to go we'll just we'll put a whole new line so we don't have any bar fittings on there um so this is just temporary for the video just so you can get the sound out of it but it's not actually going to stay like that we're going to fix all that yeah all right well let's do some revs and then some driving and we'll make our decision <laughs> though because it's almost as if it sounds more as if, as if it was surging with the blow off valve than without it 
Huh. I don't know. I, I could well, be wrong. Let's go for a little ride and when we get back, I'll make the decision. Ready? Dude, it, it, you're almost right that it is louder with, with the vlog. Obviously, I think I've made my decision. I'm gonna keep the blow off valve. If you guys have any comments on that versus the compressor surge, let me know in the comments down below because this turbo kit is definitely not done and I'll tell you guys what else we have to do. All of my gauges right here. And as you guys know, I had ordered a A-pillar gauge pod and they actually sent us the wrong one and it did not fit at all. So now we have to go through the whole process of sending it back and getting a new one. So I came in today expecting to be able to put all of this stuff in the car, but as you guys know, when you're working on cars and stuff, nothing ever goes to plan. So that has to be pushed back, which means completing this project has to be pushed back all because of a stupid gauge pod. But we're gonna get it taken care of and our base tune guy still isn't even here. So not that big of a deal, but at least we got the whole turbo situation figured out. The car mechanically running really well without any tune at all and everything is done besides the gauge pod. So that's up next. I'm gonna wait for traffic and then go home. You guys have seen that this RX-7 and uh, a lot of my videos, they just finished it fully built on the 7, around 700 is horsepower. I don't know why I did this to myself again, but I'm ending my day by watching The Office over again for like the 10th time. I've been watching so many episodes and this is this is what happens every time I rewatch The Office. Awesome day at the shop. Very good news on the BRZ. Also today, which I didn't mention because I was gonna keep it a secret, but I'm just so stoked about it. Really good news for the GTR build. I'm heading to Japan next week with top rank for Tokyo Auto Salon. So as soon as I'm back from Japan, the turbo build will start. I may or may not have the turbo for the GTR by next week. So if it comes comes in before I leave for Japan, I'll definitely show you guys, but the GTR build is underway. We have started ordering parts, we're gathering everything. The GTR is about to be amazing, so get very excited. All my cars are about to be boosted, boys. It's gonna be so good. All right, bros, I'm exhausted. I gotta edit this video, so thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.